Hey everyone, my name is Victoria Kai, and I'm just going to share some reflections about the chapter called A Tender Friend. The verse that we're focusing on is, is, um, is a friend of tax collectors and sinners. It's from Matthew 11:19, 19, um, and that is used to describe Jesus. Um, the author says that this you know, title was, was was used by his enemies to discredit him, to shame him, and it really actually has done the opposite. I mean, it gives us hope um, because we are all sinners, and I don't say that in a shameful way. I just say that in the sense of, like, this is a fallen world with a lot of crappy things, and we do crappy things because we are people we grow and we learn and we ask for forgiveness and there's grace upon grace and mercy and thank God for that and so when I think about all the tender friends in my life I'm so thankful because growing up it was hard to understand what it what it meant to be a tender friend or how to kind of discern who is a tender friend I mean Growing up in the public school education system, it's kind of scary. <laughs> I mean, anywhere you'll find people that um, are not nice. And I myself have not been a nice person either. I mean, I think of the quote, her people hurt people, right? Because again, it's a fallen world. And I just think about, again, all the friends that I've had and all the hurts that they've had and all the trauma and everything. and helps me to better understand them and myself and how we all just need that grace. And so, you know, when I think about Jesus, I think about the song by House Fires um, called um, Jesus, What a Savior. And it says, Jesus, what a savior, what a brother, what a friend, lifter of the lowly. God, you meet me where I am. And over and over again, God has met me at my lowest points. I remember feeling so emotionally wrecked. And I wasn't eating, and I wasn't really sleeping, and I wasn't working out. I just was not taking care of myself. Um, and I remember feeling like I was going crazy. All of these lies in my head and my heart. And I felt and looked like a shell of a person. And I remember being in my closet on my knees, sobbing, crying out to God to help me. Because I didn't know what was happening. And through therapy, through great friends, through just a lot of things, God brought me out of that place and reminded me that I'm beloved. And that he still wanted to be my friend. That he still chose me when I couldn't even like choose myself in that sense. I didn't really think much of me. And I'm grateful. Because God is always calling us home. He's always calling us home to be with him, to be loved. And so, yeah, I just encourage you to accept his invitation of love. And um, I'll end this video with a quote uh, from the chapter, and it goes like this. Compa companion is another word for friend, but it specifically connotes the idea of someone who goes with you on a journey. As we make our pilgrimage through this wide wilderness of the world, we have a steady, constant friend. So, just a reminder 
you're not alone. You're never alone. Jesus is always guiding you home. In fact, he's holding you by the hand tenderly and just waiting until you're ready to walk with him. And I hope you truly feel that, even in your lowest moments. Thank <laughs> you.